Good day, guys. Being here.、Um, previously, we、uh, we did an exercise. So it,、uh, this is an adaptive family, so which can be placed onto a,、um, a divided surface. So something like this.、So、place it on the node, and let me just、uh, M A. Oops. Okay, and then we can just use repeat to place all. Place them,、uh, place on the, all the notes, and also re repeat. And then, because we have these uh, pr uh,、um, instance parameter, we can change, we can change the, these angles. So, and also we can use a, a match property to you know change multiple.、Um, Okay, so today、uh, we're going to try to use Dynamo to control them because sometimes it can be.、Uh, let me just delete this one and only have this one. So sometimes it can be quite.、Um, it's not that hard because you can just you know type in some number and you know to give a you know random look. But、uh, if the number of this family become you know. Larger, it might take some time, right? So, what we are going to do is, and and also just to make sure、uh, this、um, this works in conceptual mass, which、uh, so this is, currently this is a conceptual mass, and if you're doing if you if you're doing this,、um, it won't it will not work if it's a model in place mass. Okay, so now go to manage and click on Dynamo. And so this is very very、uh, simple、uh, one. So first、uh, we are going to randomize those、uh, panels. So let me just try to I'll just move this to this side and have this on this side. Okay. So probably not that big. Okay. So so first let's have a look. So this instance parameter which is. Here B is con control is controlling the angle of this panel. So, for example, negative thirty. So go、uh, up thirty degree. Yeah, the other direction. So let's go click on new. So first, I always change this one to manual because I don't want to you know every time I add and not add something, it you know calculate you know again、uh, every time. Okay. <coughs> So、uh, now, first we need to select select all these panels. So under Revit, so there's this selection, all family types. Okay, so family types here. Okay, so in this one, you can select that family name. So I think it must be this one, and also the all element of family type. If I connect connect this, click on Run. So this will give us a list of family. So we, There are eighty four. So actually, let's make、um, more. Let maybe I'll just click on this. So by reducing the size of the grid, we'll、um, we'll just make place more of this family. Oh, and also yeah. So、um, we need to do it again. So it won't automatically place because、uh, we have re、uh, re removed the repeater. So. I'm gonna just select all. Maybe S A select all, and shift and click click on any one. Okay, and then delete. So now we have we only have one, and then go back. So and go back.、Um, where's my repeater? Uh, hell, <laughs> where is it? Uh, something's not right. Maybe I'll just let's. Ah,、oh, where is it?、Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> Interesting. Hang on. Let me just click place another one to see what happens. Maybe this one's not. Oh, maybe it's because the the size of the screen. Ah, it's here. It's ah, it's hidden somewhere. Okay, so maybe I'll just change this back. Oops. To the left, right. Okay, so it's not showing. It's under somewhere、oh, here. Sorry, sorry about that.、Um, okay, so select the family under here. Modify. So this repeat. 
Okay, so now this will you know uh, create uh, just multiply this family, and then um, I think we need to change the size as well because previously those size uh, are um, it's quite big. So maybe I'll change, reduce this so uh, half this and also half the half this. Okay, so now that should be all good. Yep, and then we can just remove repeater. And then they become you know all individual, so you can change one, and it won't affect uh, others. Okay, now we can play. Just click on this run again, so this will you know tell us the number. So four times the previous number, and then it's uh, we can just use the set parameter by name, and just so link element to element param uh, parameter name is b so double click just type this okay so link this to parameter name and okay so then the value so we're going to create a, a list of random number so i'm going to uh, type so maybe just from negative 30 to 30 degree every you know five degree for example so this will give us if i click on run give us a, a list of you know 13 so you can see 13 number here but so because it's not enough uh, we need to double or you know not double sorry maybe 20 30 times um 30 um yeah let's just time so see cycle okay and list and just uh 30 i think try 30 and run again so this give us 390 it's a little bit too much maybe 27 i think that's close yeah 26 maybe run okay so um and then this is a list with all these numbers and then you can see the goals from 30 to negative 30 to 30 and go back to negative 30 to 30 so if i if i connect this one it will give us some pattern so from you should uh, see a pattern um maybe from negative 30 to 30 and then go back okay something like this oh, it's quite interesting actually yeah so this is not random random pattern right so what to to make it Random. We just need to add um, random, of course. Ram. Oh, hell, <laughs> I can't spell random. Uh, actually, uh, we're going to add a C, uh, use. Uh, not this one. Sorry. Uh, when what's a, what's what's and um, oh sorry, not random shuffle. What? <laughs> okay, we're going to use this one. Shuffle list seeds. Okay, so uh, if you're using if you're using a uh, old version, uh, Dynamo you probably uh, won't have this one. But yeah, f this is with the Revit 2023. So let's go link link uh, list to list, and then we can just see it is uh, I think C can be a, just a number or integer. So I'm going to just, oh, sorry, not this. Right click and uh, use a slider. I'm going to use, uh, I'm not sure which one, integer maybe. <laughs> and then link this to the seed. So this will give us a render. And every time you change this one, it will change the uh, list again. So, so if I list this one to this, run. So this will give us a randomized pattern. Right, so this is it, and now I'm going to change this one to automatic and click on the anywhere. So click anywhere, so it'll change the number, and which will automatically update this pattern. Okay, so this is just a, a very simple randomized pattern using a set a parameter by name. Okay, so now change this back to menu, and we're going to try another one. So this one, I'm going to just uh, break uh, break this, break this. So this part, this is for randomized. So you, yeah, if you want to, do, you can just you know group them or just uh, name call it, and then just uh, 
place it there. And now we are going to try. So how about this? So I want to uh, change the change the uh, angle depending on where this panel sit. So the top one, I want the top one facing down, the lower one facing up. How can we do that? So um, we can use a uh, location. Okay, so I think location where's location, maybe geometry. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe let's just search. Sorry, I'm not very familiar with all these nodes. So location, oh, hang on. location. So it sh there should be a location of existing element. Um, let's just go down a little bit. Get location here. So get an existing elements location. So this is what we need. So if I link this one to element and click on run. So on your screen in Revit, you will see this blue dot. So they are the location of um, of those families. And if you click on here, so if you click on this list, it will give you a, you know, X or the X, Y and Z. Oh, what's going on? What am I doing? Click. Yeah. So you can see X, Y and Z. Uh, how can I just, oh, I, uh, anyway, just an X equals Y equals and Z, Z. Okay, so Z. What we need is the Z value. So um, we go to ge geometry, points, point, this. So see, a question mark means a just to, to get a value, okay? So get a Z value, so point. Okay, click on run and give us a list of the Z values. Okay, so you can see from the, uh, so it's all different, all right? Okay, now um, we, um, what's the next? Uh, I think we need to, somehow we, can, we need to sort um, the, the list. Um, bear with me. Uh, <laughs> I need to figure out how to do it. We need to sort element. Okay. Uh, we need to, let me just try. S O R T, sort, sort, um, and return. A, yeah, I think it, sh it should be this one. And list this one and then run and give us a. Oh, what's that? Uh, not this one, sorry. Uh, sort by key, sort by name. Uh, actually, I'm not quite sure. Let's try. So, this is this list sort, and also, um, I think. I think I tried something in the list organize and reorder. I think I did this. So let's try. <laughs> uh, so this all element of the fa uh, of the, this family type, just go to this list reorder and then just link this back to this to run. So this gives us nothing. Oh, interesting. Uh, maybe this one's wrong. So let's try. What else? S O R T. Sort by key. Um, try this one. <laughs> sort index by value. No, I think this one's right. You can see instead of you know all the num number, all the value of the Z give us a, a, a number so which means we can use this back into here and run this will give us a new list of um, element uh, sorted using the value of the Z <laughs> now we can just you know use this um, I'm going to just copy control C control V and drag it to here. But 
maybe we need to、um, remove the shuffle because we don't randomize them. Instead,、um, instead,、uh, let me just break this. Okay, so we don't need this. Just go, go away. Oh, go away. I'll delete it then. So, because we still need to sort this one, so if I click on run, so you can see this one's from negative thirty to thirty, and go back. So what we need is we need to sort this one. Let me just try to.、Uh, I think this time we need to use the this one. Okay, so list and run. Okay, so now you can see negative thirty. So I think that's twenty six of them, and then negative twenty five. Yep. And now if I link this one back to value, and also link the uh, hang on, where is it? This one. So reordered、um, element list back to this element. If I click on run, so this will give us um uh. The the result we looking for, so you can see、uh, all the bottom ones looking up, and then in the middle, so looking、uh, looking horizontally, <laughs> and the,、uh, the top ones looking down, facing down. Okay, so yeah, that's、um, yeah, I think that's it. And then, of course, you can do it、uh, the other way around. So, for example, if you wanted to, you know. Make the opposite direction.、Um, I think we just need to.、Uh, how about reverse? So we just add a reverse after that. So maybe just click use this, link this to this, link this, link this to this. So click on run again. So this should you know make them up opposite direction. So the top ones looking up, the bottom ones looking down. Facing down, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, what else? Uh, let let me just make this slightly bigger so you can. Oh, and also, when you use, so you can see all these dot. If you um want to know what they are, they they are the location of the um those uh families. So also showing here. So if you want to turn them off in here. Or turn them off in、um, in Revit. So、uh, maybe so for example, ah,、uh, hang on. For for example, you don't want to see those blue dots. You can just go here and where my where is my look location location ah,、uh, hang on. Where here? So this one, just right click on it and uncheck the preview. So this will. Hide all those dots. Okay.、Um, yeah, that's it. So very,、uh, very basic. So that's all I know. <laughs> so this is a ran random mouse. So basically, just、uh, create a list,、uh, multiply it, and shuffle to randomize it with a seed. So you can change it, change them, and then apply use a set parameter by name. And this one's depending on the the look. Uh, the value, the height, the z value of、uh, the location of the families. So you can see family. Just、uh, get some location and get the z value. Sort the value, and then、uh, reorder this list, and then apply a list of、uh, value to to this list. Okay. So and then depending on how you want to、uh, apply those parameters, so you just.、Uh, Uh, sort the list, okay, and use the set parameter by name. That's all. Thank you.、Um, I think that's it for today. And if if、uh, I've already uploaded this family, so if you, I think it's、um, just、um, okay about weeks、uh, a week ago. So it's twenty one double o seven. Oh, sorry, twenty three double o seven. So you can just go find that family and have a play if you want to. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.